Welcome to Wonderslate. Subscribe to our Telegram channel given in the description to updates and study materials. Topic for today's quiz is Measures of Central Tendency. Question number 1. The value of the middle item in a set of observations which has been arranged in an ascending or descending order of magnitude. Option A. Median. Option B. Mode. Option C. Range. Option D. Mean. The correct answer is Option A. Median. To find the median, you must first order the numbers from smallest to largest. Question number 2. Mode. Option A. Ascending or descending order of magnitude. Option B. The value in the data set that occurs most number occurs most frequently. Option C. Observations which has been arranged in an. Option D. The value of the middle item in a set of. The correct answer is. Option B. The value in the data set that occurs most number occurs most frequently. Mode is the most fashionable values of a distribution, because it is repeated the highest number of times in the series. It is denoted by more. Question number 3. Underscore is not capable of algebraic treatment. Option A. Arithmetic mean. Option B. Median. Option C. Mode. Option D. None. The correct answer is Option B. Median. Beside algebraic approach, the median value can be estimated also through graphic presentation of data. Question number 4. Following are the disadvantages of mean except Option A. Does not possess the desired algebraic property. Option B. Cannot be computed if there are missing values due to omission or non response. Option C. Easily affected by extreme values. Option D. In grouped data with open ended class intervals, the mean cannot be computed. The correct answer is Option A. Does not possess the desired algebraic property. The mean does not possess the desired algebraic property. The mean has several properties and by virtue of them it can be readily manipulated in varied situation. Question number 5. Underscore divides the data into four equal parts. Option A. Quartiles. Option B. Mean. Option C. Median. Option D. Range. The correct answer is. Option A. Quartiles. Quartiles in statistics are values that divide your data into quarters. Question number 6. As a general rule, the underscore is the best measure of central tendency because it is more precise. Option A. Median. Option B. Mode. Option C. Range. Option D. Mean. The correct answer is Option D. Mean. The mean is usually the best measure of central tendency to use when your data distribution is continuous and symmetrical, such as when your data is normally distributed. Question number 7. The underscore is the value you calculate when you want the arithmetic average. Option A. Median. Option B. Mode. Option C. Mean. Option D. All of these. The correct answer is. Option C. Mean. The arithmetic mean. Also called the arithmetic average. Question number 8. Which of the following statement is false regarding mode? Option A. Does not possess the desired algebraic property of the mean that allows further manipulations. Option B. Affected by extreme values. Option C. Can be easily identified through ocular inspection. Option D. Like the median, 
observations from different data sets have to be merged to obtain a new mode, where the group or ungrouped data are involved. The correct answer is Option B. Affected by extreme values, mode is not affected by the presence of extreme items. Question number 9. Which of the following is not a common measure of central tendency? Option A. Median. Option B. Mode. Option C. Mean. Option D. Range. The correct answer is Option D. Range. The range is the difference between the lowest and highest values of the data. Question number 10. The median is underscore. Option A. The highest number. Option B. The middle point. Option C. Affected by extreme scores. Option D. The average. The correct answer is Option B. The middle point, median is that positional value of the variable which divides the distribution into two equal parts. Question number 11. The mean is Option A. The highest value. Option B. The sum of all the values in a group, divided by the number of values in that group. Option C. The value that occurs most frequently. Option D. The midpoint in a set of scores. The correct answer is Option B. The sum of all the values in a group, divided by the number of values in that group. The sum of the values of all observations divided by the number of observations. Mean equals x, n. Question number 12. Below mentioned formula is used for calculating. Option A. Range. Option B. Mean. Option C. Mode. Option D. Median. The correct answer is. Option D. Median. In case of continuous series the median can locate the median class where n slash 2th item, not, n plus 1 slash 2th item, lies. The median can then be obtained as given formula. Question number 13. There are three quartiles. Option A. Q1, Q2, Q3. Option B. Q1, Q3, Q5. Option C. Q1, Q1, Q2. Option D. Q0, Q1, Q2. The correct answer is. Option A. Q1, Q2, Q3. Quartiles are the measures which divide the data into four equal parts. Each portion contains equal number of observations. Thus, there are three quartiles, Q1, Q2 and Q3. Question number 14. There are two methods of finding mode in discrete series. Option A. Ascending method and grouping method. Option B. Inspection method and grouping method. Option C. Descending method and grouping method. Option D. Midpoint method and table method. The correct answer is. Option B. Inspection method and grouping method. The value of mode can be determined by the both methods of inspection method and grouping method in discrete series. Question number 15. Relationship between mode is Option A. Mode equals 4 median, 2 mean. Option B. Mode equals 2 median, 1 mean. Option C. Mode equals 2 median, 3 mean. Option D. Mode equals 3 median, 2 mean. The correct answer is Option D. Mode equals 3 median. To mean, in a normal distribution in which the values of mean, median and mode coincide, i.e. mean equals median equals mode, 
is known as asymmetrical distribution. Mode equals 3 median to mean. Thank you for watching the video. If you'd like practice this quiz then download the Wonderslate app now. Link in the description below. If you have any suggestion for us feel free to leave comments. If you liked the video and want to see more of it hit the thumbs up and don't forget to click on subscribe button to get more updates of the future videos.